the use of yam peel in formulating broiler finisher feed cannot be overemphasized. Join me in this particular content. Let's dig deep into the use of yam peel. Hello, you are welcome to my platform. This is the Poultry Side TV. Poultry Side TV is a global platform where I teach everything concerning livestock and poultry. If you are new to this particular platform, please click the right button now and be a part of this global movement. This is the only way you can make profit in your poultry production because everything concerning poultry and livestock I got you covered both the nutrition, medicinal, and operational aspect of it. Right now, I have a very important and very interesting topic for you. Many farmers are finding it difficult this time to feed their poultry and livestock birds because of the high cost of commercial feed. In fact, commercial poultry feed has skyrocketed to the extent that many farmers have dropped. In this particular video and many other videos coming up, I'm going to take you through a series of local feed stores that many people are not aware of or many are neglecting them. I'm going to pass through kitchen waste, some of the things you throw away in your house, some of the things you even pay people money to take away out of your kitchen. But they are very viable in poultry feed. I'm going to guide you on how to use them. I'm going to give you details of all the nutritional value. Right now, I have one important poultry nutrient, nutritional element that I want to treat. That is yam pea. Almost everybody eats yam and they throw the yam peas away. Some pay people money to pack them away from their house. But in this particular video, I'm going to give you details of everything concerning yam pea. Yam peel has fiber, it has carbohydrate, it has protein, it has ash, it has metabolized energy, it has potassium, and it has phosphorus. All these vitamins and nutrients are very essential in poultry feed formulation. At the end of this video, I will give you one very viable feed formula using yam peel. And if you ask me in the comment section, I will give you more of it that will help you to formulate your own feed. In fact, if you, if you can share this video and ask me in the comment section, I will give you more than two different feed formula that will help you to use yam peel instead of throwing them away and make a viable feed formula in your backyard farm. Make sure you share this video to reach other farmers. This is the only way we can progress in this profession. Make sure you drop your comments, ask questions on how to process them at the end of this video. And at the same time, like the video and share it. The nutritional composition of yam peas can vary. But in general, yam peas can offer some nutritional values for livestock, especially poultry. Here is a simplified list of nutritional components commonly found in yam peas. Number one is fiber. Yam peas are a good source of dietary fiber which can contribute to digestive health in livestock. Number two, carbohydrate. While the carbohydrate content may not be as high as in the yam tuber itself, yam peas can contain carbohydrates that can provide very good source of energy. Remember that metabolized energy is a very good component for livestock. Number three is protein. Yam peas contains little amount of protein, up to 5% crude protein. Number four is vitamins. Yam peas contains small amount of vitamins, including vitamin B, and vitamin C. Minerals. Yam peas contains potassium and phosphorus. Potassium is important for electrolyte balance and muscle functions. While phosphorus is essential for bone formation and various metabolic processes. It is important to note that while yam peas can be used as a feed ingredient for livestock, 
their nutritional content may be as concentrated as in other feed sources. Therefore, additional processing methods such as drying and in slicing may be employed to enhance their digestibility and nutritional value. As with any feed ingredients, it is advisable for you to make sure you process them very well and neatly for them to serve you very well. Yampi has crude protein up to 5%. It has crude fiber up to 89.5%. It has good fat up to 6%. It has ash up to 38%. And it has energy up to 712.5. And all the mineral and vitamin contents that are very good for protein. Please, after watching this video today, stop throwing away. Stop destroying your peas from the kitchen make use of them how do you process it sun dry it properly well then crush it to the depending on the size or the age of your bed or livestock and use it to formulate their feed you will see a poultry feed formula at the end of this particular content now you see it make use of it then if you share this video and ask for more on the comment section i will give you more feed formula using different other combination of ingredients thank you for watching this video please share it comment on it and at the same time make sure this video gets to other farmers till i come with another interesting topic on other poultry feed ingredient that you are neglecting that comes out of your kitchen for instance the cassava peel the sweet potato peel, the citrus pork, the banana and plantain peel, the karika papaya peel, that is the papa peel, and kokoyam leaf. They are coming soon. Thank you. Bye. Till I come with those interesting contents. <laughs>